Some hopeful news for people who have suffered a stroke. An experimental therapy may help restore movement and function to paralyzed hands. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez says the secret is beaming powerful magnetic waves into the brain. We're going to use this putty. It looks a little like someone pretending to cut some imitation food, but Ron Vargas is an adult working very hard at recovering function in his left hand, a hand left mostly paralyzed by a massive stroke over a year ago. I was laying in a bed and I went to get up. And I noticed that I could just move my right hand, and this side was like just laying there, like, like dead weight. The hard part about recovering function after a stroke is that there are damaged brain cells, and the healthy side of the brain is overactive, putting breaks on the natural healing process of the other side. If we can find a way to release those breaks, we potentially open that side of the brain up to, to really rewire better and to relearn better and to recover better. Now doctors think they may have found a way to do that with magnetism. Vargas and other stroke patients have magnetic pulses beamed into the very specific part of the brain that controls the hand. By adjusting the rate of the pulses, the overactive side of the brain is calmed down. Then within minutes after the magnetic therapy, intensive occupational therapy. The key here is to engage the, the stroked side of the brain in activity. You want to really be training as much as you can to try to really work on rewiring that side. Because this is a clinical trial, the volunteers don't know if they're actually getting magnetic pulses. But Vargas believes he's getting better. I'm doing things like this. Touching your fingers and stuff like that. Couldn't do that before. Yes, I couldn't do that before. That little extra movement and hand control may not seem like much, but it can make a huge difference in activities of daily living and quality of life. If this trial works out, the magnet therapy could be used to help rewire other damaged parts of the brain. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.